In this session, I will cover one of the important profitability ratio return on capital employed. Return on capital employed measures the efficiency of company to generate profit for its shareholders. I talked about return on equity in previous session. Return on equity is calculated as net profit divided by shareholders' equity. It takes net profit from income statement in the numerator. It is the profit after deducting all the expenses including tax. The denominator is equity which is assets minus liabilities from balance sheet. In this case, return on equity will be 15%. This means company is generating 15% return on equity invested. However, business utilizes equity capital and debt to generate profit. Return on equity considers only equity capital to measure returns to the shareholders. These returns can be artificially inflated by increasing the debt. Hence, return on capital employed is extremely important profitability ratio that measure return on equity and debt capital invested in the business. Let's understand how return on capital employed is calculated. The formula for ROCE looks like this. It is company's operating profit divided by total capital employed and expressed as percentage. Operating profit is also known as EBIT. EBIT stands for earnings before interest and tax. It can also be calculated as net income plus interest on debt and taxes paid to the government. It is essentially operating profit of the company before paying interest on debt and taxes. Let's look at the denominator now. It considers company's equity and long-term debt used to generate profit. In this case, ROCE will be 10%. In short ROCE is the return made on overall capital employed that includes equity and long-term debt. It's time to understand how ROCE is useful while analyzing different companies. Let's assume you are analyzing company A and B for investing decisions. You should review balance sheet and income statement to compute ROCE. Let's assume company A has 15 crore equity capital and 5 crores of debt. Hence, the total capital employed is 20 crores. On same line, let's assume company B has employed 30 crores of total capital. From income statement you calculate company's operating profit which is EBIT. Let's assume company A has 4 crores of operating profit. And company B has 5 crores respectively. Let's compute the ROCE now. You can calculate ROCE of 20% for company A. The company B has ROCE of 16%. You would have noticed company B has lower ROCE despite of high operating profit. This is because capital employed by company B is much higher than company A. However, company A has relatively low capital employed and high ROCE. It's important for your business to generate high return on overall capital employed in order to be more efficient and profitable. You should look out for companies that have ability to produce relatively high return on low capital investment. Let's compare two companies based on total return on capital employed. This table shows ROCE for company A and company B across years. You can notice company A has stable and high ROCE across years. However, company B has low ROCE and it's fluctuating. This shows company A is more efficient in producing good returns for shareholders. It can produce more profit with much less capital invested in the business. On the other hand, company B is producing less returns for shareholders. The acceptable range of ROCE can differ across the industry. For example, Utility, oil and gas companies will have low ROCE. 8-10% to of ROCE can be considered as sign of an efficient company. However, software companies typically have high ROCE. You should consider ROCE of 15% or more before investing. 
As a stock investor, if you have question, how to analyze return on capital employed? Here are few simple steps to follow. You should always compare ROCE with companies that operates in the same industry or similar business model. Moreover, you should compare ROCE across years to ensure stability and rather increasing ROCE. Companies should have high ROCE with no or little deb. You should typically look out for companies with 15% or higher ROCE before you consider investing. Thank you.